What is effective communication? Effective communication is one in which the sender and receiver encode a message in an equivalent way. Thus, the message is transmitted successfully, the receiver understands the meaning and intention of the message sent. To ensure that communication is effective, it is very important that the sender clearly knows what he wants to transmit and that he is aware of the qualities of the person or persons to whom he wants to send it in order to formulate the message in the way most successful possible. In effective communication, the sender must be, or at least appear credible. to those who receive the message. For this, the key is to show that you understand, that you are an authoritative voice about what is being communicated. At the same time, you must convey it in the best possible way, with clear and precise concepts, so that there are no misunderstandings or misinterpretations. On the other hand, the message formulated by the issuer should not be only rational or only emotional, but combine both dimensions. In this way, those who are not moved by the emotional elements can be convinced by the rational ones and vice versa. But in addition, it can be a good strategy to capture the attention of the recipient of the message. Elements of Effective Communication Within effective communication, as in any type of communication, there are certain elements that compose it. Some of them are Transmitter The person, S, who produce and send the message receiver the person s who receive and interpret the message code a set of rules and signs that the sender uses to produce his message and that must also be known to the receiver in order to interpret it channel the physical medium through which the message is transmitted which goes from the sender to the receiver message the object that is communicated it is formulated and sent by the sender and received and interpreted by the receiver. Referrer That element, situation or event to which the message refers or refers. Situation The context in which the sender transmits his message and in which the receiver receives it. For both, the situation ends up influencing or even conditioning the way the message is formulated and interpreted. The situation may or may not be shared by both. Noise. Any type of interference that affects any of the elements that intervene in the communication and that, therefore, end up affecting it. When there is one noise or several communication is not effective. Importance of effective communication. The importance of effective communication is clearly seen in the business environment where it can make a difference when it comes to promoting productivity, but also so that teams and human resources work correctly and in a complementary way. In the academic field, correctly transmitting the contents prepared in a thesis, for example, is also relevant for the public to understand what the research consisted of and what the conclusions were in this regard. In politics, achieving a clear and convincing message is the key to capturing votes and achieving consensus when carrying out a measure. Inefficient communication can be unhappy for many of the citizens. On a commercial level, communication also makes a difference, a well-crafted message can translate into higher sales volume. Examples of effective communication Effective communication can take place in different ways or channels. Some examples can be Written communication Here we can locate a university thesis, in which its author expands on previous research and reaches a conclusion. Oral communication the speech of a politician can be an example when he argues why it is necessary to vote it in a public act. Gesticulation By means of signs or gestures, the sender communicates something, for example, where the driver of a car can park and how to do it. Effective communication in companies Effective communication is decisive in companies. Its productivity depends on the correct transmission of a message, as well as the proper functioning of the staff and its group at all levels. Effective communication helps to build trust among human resources and also to clearly know what are the goals and objectives to follow in order to choose the correct path for it. 
Effective communication is a key tool in motivating staff and making them feel like part of the team. Also, effective communication helps to generate more horizontal structures where everyone can listen and be heard, which is key, especially for the new generations who are in search of constant feedback. Now, effective communication in any organization will always depend on its leaders, who must be the first to implement it. It is also important that they know which is the best channel for this, as well as the most appropriate time. When choosing leaders, communication skills must be taken into account. Assertive communication. Assertive communication is one that is transmitted clearly. This applies not only to the content of the communication, but also to the elements that accompany it, such as gestures and sounds. Assertive communication, in addition, is always accompanied by empathy on the part of the person who produces it. The idea of assertive communication is to always create a sincere climate without conflicts between the parties.